There was a lofty ship, she sailed upon the sea, and the name of that ship it was the Golden Vanity. There she would be taken by a Turkish enemy. And she sailed on the lowland, lowland, low, sailed upon the lowland sea. Hi, I'm Doc Marshall for Lessons.io. Today we're going to look at a folk song. It's a traditional song back in 1600 someplace, probably 1635. I'm sure that none of us were around when it was written, but it's a great song and it's got a lot of energy to it. And it was one of those songs that was done by all the folk groups back in the 60s. Uh, most notably was the Chad Mitchell Trio. A very nice rendition of the song. But all the folk singers sang it. So let's learn the chords to it so we can sing it too, okay? It's in the key of G, and what you're going to need is a G, and a D, an E minor, and a C. That's about it. That's all the chords you need. Now the sequence of the, of the chords is going to be G, to D, E minor, C, D, back at the G again, that's our starting chord, G, D, E minor, C, then D, G, E minor, C, D and G. Sounds like a lot of chords and a lot of switching around, but we'll see when you sing it with the words, uh, play it and sing it together, it becomes a lot easier. The timing on this particular song is interesting too, so we'll want to make note of that. So let's look at, at how we're going to uh, strum it. We'll strum it first and then I'll show you another alternate way of playing it. So we're going to start off with our G chord. It was a lofty ship she sailed on the sea. Now notice that on is the D, C, which is the um, E minor. You're saying the word C, like in C, like the ocean, but it's an E minor. So again, the first line. There was a lofty ship, and she sailed on the sea. Okay, and the name of that ship it was the golden vanity so we have what the name is C to the golden vanity which is D okay now we start again at the top of the order G but she feared she would be taken by a Turkish enemy now once again the word enemy in this case is D and E minor those two words enemy Next line, as she sailed, it's a C on the low band, D, low land, that's a G, low, it's E minor, okay, so the low lands now, low land, low land, low, then the last line is she sailed upon the low land, C. Okay, that's the whole sequence. All the verses follow that same progression. There isn't any uh, chorus in this song. Actually, the whole song is, sounds like a chorus. But you don't have to worry about changing anything. So, now, what we want to do is go through the whole uh, verse again and in continuity so you can hear uh, what it sounds like with strumming. Now, note the timing. When we go from that D to the E minor, that gets kind of quick on you. Okay, it sounds like it's out of time, but it, it's, it's not. It's very good, okay? So we're starting on our G chord. Notice all the chords I'm playing are in the first position. Because it's folk music, we wanted to sound folky. It was a lofty ship, she sailed upon the sea. And the name of the ship it was, the Golden Vanity. But she feared she would be taken by a Turkish enemy as she sailed on the low 
lowland, lowland, low, sailed upon the lowland sea. Okay, so it has a nice sound to it, and you can do it strumming just the way we just showed it to you. But you can get a little picking action in there too, all with the pick. In, in other words, not with the fingers, but you know, just picking. And you can do that with a bass and counter bass. There was a lofty ship, she sailed upon the sea And the name of that ship it was the Golden Vanity But she feared she would be taken by a Turkish enemy As she sailed on the lowland, lowland, low Sailed upon the lowland sea Okay, so what I'm doing there is I'm hitting bass notes hitting the note and then I'm going on the other strings on the uh, guitar and then back to the so one bass note other bass note those bass notes change with the chord of course when we get to the D rhythmic, everything stays the same. There's no fancy uh, finger work on the, uh, the right hand here. So let's try that once again so that we see how the chords work with the bass and counter bass. There was a lofty ship and she sailed upon the sea and the name of that ship it was the Golden Vanity which fear she would be taken by Turkish enemy as she sailed on the lowland, lowland, low, sailed upon the lowland sea. So notice that the song is a very moving song. It, it goes along quite nicely. The changes uh, of the chords are in logical places, and what you want to do is make sure that you get that that D, D T minor there couple of places that it occurs, otherwise your timing is off and you'll never get it right, okay? So match up the words with the chords so that you know when to change. When you hear it, uh, the word enemy, you know that's two chords. Enemy, and in the first line it's on the sea. On the sea. And if you can do that, no problem. Now the lowland, 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 low, is D, G, and E, E minor, of course. And you can use that as a signpost, okay? Low man, low man, low. It's a nice way of remembering where you are in the song. It sets you up for the next line, okay? So that's all there is to this nice sounding song. And you can play it in any key you want, of course, and I would suggest playing it in the first position down here because it's got that nice folky sound to it, and that's what we want. Okay, so that's it. A traditional song from the 1600s, Golden Vanity. It goes by other names too, but that's the, the, the one we know best. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe and send in your comments and questions, and we'll do our best to give us some sort of an answer. If there's other songs you'd like, let us know, and we'll try to put those on the, the YouTube as well. Okay? Bye for now.